Hello, I am Dr. Tanaya Sarnaik, done with my Masters in Sports Physiotherapy and presently practicing at Riliva Physiotherapy and Rehab. So the moment I say that I am a physiotherapist, the first question that everyone asks is what physiotherapy is or what does uh, what comes in physiotherapy. So today I would like to mention that what exactly comes in physiotherapy. So as a physiotherapist, we treat the cardiological system, the neurological system, musculoskeletal system as well as the respiratory system. Whenever the physiotherapist or when you visit to a physiotherapist, the first thing that the physiotherapist will do is do an entire consultation along which includes the assessment, an assessment involving the uh, assessment of your pain intensity, the range of motion of your joints and the muscular strength of your joints. The entire consultation is done along with a final diagnosis of your condition and accordingly the treatment protocol is set. Under physiotherapy, it is divided into two phases. The physiotherapist divides the treatment into two phases. The phase one involves a reduction in the pain by using passive treatments. In passive treatments, we would like to emphasize on different modalities that help in reducing your pain and pain intensity to a greater extent. So the pain intensity and the pain is reduced by the modalities namely IFT which is known as interferential therapy. TENS that is transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulator, ultrasound, SWD that is short wave diathermy, CPM that is continuous passive machine and traction machine. So these various modalities are used in physiotherapy treatment to reduce your pain and to improve the range of motion. Along with the modalities, we even concentrate on your improving of your range of motion and the overall joint mobility which is done by techniques known as manual therapy. These manual therapy techniques are done by the physiotherapist to improve the soft tissue mobility. The soft tissue mobility results in increasing your range of motion and the entire mobility of your surrounding joints and muscles. This all is covered in the phase 1. Now I would like to show all the equipments and the machines which are used in physiotherapy including in the phase 1 and the phase 2. So as I discussed about the modalities used in pain reduction for the phase 1, I would like to show you all the modalities. So the first modality is the IFT, IFT. it is known as the interferential therapy. So we give current, uh, the currents in a controlled intensity which help in reducing your pain. On the same uh, mechanism and on the same guidelines works the TENS modality which is known as the transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulator. So it also has the same, in the same uh, mechanism as the, the interferential therapy has. Then we come on to the modality known as ultrasound. So ultrasound is again a modality used in pain reduction but basically on localized, uh, localized pain areas or the areas which have a particular tender point. Then we have a modality known as the electrical nerve muscle stimulator. So in cases such as paralysis, this machine is used to activate the muscles and also to regenerate the nerves which have been lost, which have lost their actions. Then we have a modality known as the continuous passive machine, well known as a CPM machine. So in this machine, we basically aim at improving the range of motion of the knee joint. So when the range of motion of the knee joint is restricted, we give this machine to improve its range. We also have the uh, modality known as the SWD that is a short wave diathermy. It consists of two electrical heating pads which are placed at the uh, area of your pain and which again helps in improving, uh, improving the uh, muscle inflammation and reducing your pain. Now in the phase 2 we will be aiming at improving the functionality of the affected muscles. So the different equipments that are used in improving the muscles uh, mobility include the weight cuffs. So we have different weight cuffs of different weights which help in improving our muscle strength. We even have the therabands of different intensities and resistance. So the different intensities and resistance are given according to your muscle strength which are assessed at the time of consultation. Then we even have the finger exercises. So in case of your affection of your uh, wrist, wrist grip or the pinch grip, these exercises help in improving your grip of the muscles. We also have the balance board. So this is the balance board which is used for improving your balance and your proprioception. Followed by we have a foam roller. So the foam roller is the most commonly used uh, um, equipment that is used for improving uh, the muscle or reducing the muscle tightness and also in cases where you have muscle soreness. So the foam roller works best. Followed by we have also the kinesiologic tapings, taping techniques. So these tapes are basically used in mainly the sports injuries but can also be used in other muscular skeletal related issues. But these help in improving your joint mobility, the flexibility as well as getting back to sports. Then we have the different swiss balls which are again used for improving your balance and are given accordance with your protocol. 
So here at Riliva, we also have something different known as a TheraBand working station. So this consists of different Thera tubes of different intensities which are used for your upper limb uh, muscle, muscular strength to improve your muscular strength. So we have different colors, the yellow, the green and the red which indicate different intensities and accordingly to your assessment, the different uh, intensity colors have been given to improve your muscle strength. Then we have the shoulder wheel which is uh, given in cases of your uh, shoulder stiffness and reduced range of motion at your shoulder joint. So this is again again used in terms for improving your range of motion at the shoulder joint. Once your pain, swelling and other complaints re uh, resulting in the reduction of your movement are achieved, the physiotherapist then moves on to the phase 2 which involves uh, addressing the functionality of the affected muscles. So this is basically done by improving your muscle strength in improving and concentrating on your balance and proprioception by different equipments that are used in physiotherapy. So the different equipments that are used in physiotherapy involve your Swiss ball, involve of your uh, shoulder wheel, your pulleys, then thera bands, thera tubes, weight cuffs and uh, your foam rollers, your yoga mats which are given and are set according to the condition and your treatment protocol. Uh, then we can further improve the muscle mobility by different techniques known as McKenzie, Maitland, Carlton Bone which can help in further improving the range of motion of the joints. Neurodynamic testing is, a, is again another technique which is help in involvement of conditions related to involvement of the nerves. Kinesio taping which is helped in many of the sports injuries for getting back on field and for reducing the intensity of pain. And, uh, and techniques known as dry needling can also be done in reducing the pain intensity and the range of motion. So these different techniques are used again in joint mobility and reduction of the pain which is many a times carried out in phase 1 as well as, well as even uh, targeted in phase, phase 2.